Well, hello and welcome back. Well, I wanted to give you a quick update on the vertical towers. Got some more of those made and uh, specifically on a drip tube that was recommended by one of my uh, viewers, Richard uh, Barrett. I hope I'm saying your last name right, but Richard uh, had seen that I was having troubles with how the water was feeding into the towers and he recommended a spiral hollow cone drip tube so something like that I'll try to put the link down in the comments uh, but let me show you how it's uh, working so I ordered some uh, those off Walmart they're real real inexpensive um, got just ordered a bag of, of 10 try them out that's what they look like so it's a quarter inch thread on top and it's just a standard hole in the center but the water will spiral down the cone and drip right in the center now that's versus having a half inch tube see how the water will just kind of go back and forth which you know it, it's okay um, but you have to leave it shut closer um, you have to turn the valve off and just let a little bit of water to come through so it's not just running everywhere where as these here you can open it more which will prevent um, clogging um, the water flows through faster and it will direct it right into the center and you can adjust where you want that and I'll pull one of those tops off and I'll show you what what those look like so here's the top and this is just some of the uh, um, mesh that I use that goes on the inside uh, for the bacteria and stuff to grow and the, for the roots to get in. So I will put that on top uh, to keep any algae from going. But these are just standard 4 inch um, end plugs and I just take those and uh, drill some holes in them and I primarily want the water to be going here so it runs down this plug here and on this side so it goes down to here and once the water starts hitting those the holes are directly below the next one so they just continue on down very very efficiently so I don't know if you can see down in there or not but let's see if I can pull that back so this cap will help direct that water to where it goes on each each of those plugs a little better so that's kind of how I've done that and that gets the water to both holes there pretty evenly and this also will help, help catch any solids or anything and I can clean those every once in a while but uh, what I typically do on my feed line here that runs all across and then down and I put a another line at the end with a valve and I will I leave that open so there's water going through there so it will tend to take the solids all the way through and then I can open that valve up every once in a while and let it blast through uh, if that seems to help keep uh, keep the valves opened up and cleaned out so I'm gonna have to order some more of those. So that's just kind of a quick update there for those. I've got some microgreens starting up here. Um, got a tray of this is the Oasis Grow Media, and I've got some uh, Salanova lettuces started in there, and those are going to go up in the HV tubes and the the rail system up there that I'm still working on it yet Well, that's it and thanks for the Link there Randy appreciate it and uh, we'll see you all next time and please subscribe and leave any comments Thank you
guess I better turn that on.